My name is Mita, but sometimes I'm Mora. Mita plays with makeup and Mora is a hoarder. My name is Mita, and if you are new to my channel, comment down below and say hello, hi, and I will be sure to show you lots and lots of love, guys. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload, okay? Okay. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up or thumbs down. Engagement is engagement, and we invite it all, Miss Thing. Okay? Okay, let's get into this video. Guys, I don't know about y'all. But I love freezing orange juice and eating it as icy. What's wrong with me? I'm not normal. <laughs> I gotta wait till the chew ice. Mm, brain freeze. Guys, I want to talk about my Chalazian update because so many of you have commented on my Chalazian videos and I didn't realize how many people are going through the exact same thing I went through. News update, guys. I am Chalazian free. My Chalazian is gone. Gone, sis. It is gone. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So let me get into how it fi I finally got it to go away. So let me tell you guys what happened. So as you guys saw my other videos on my Chalazian, you guys know that I had surgery. I'll put it here in the cards. Um, my videos, my Chalazian videos, just to get you up to date as, you know, how my Chalazian looked and my journey and how I got here. So you guys will not believe it, guys. I tried tea tree oil. I tried apple cider vinegar. I tried rice in a sock. I tried so much stuff that people told me. I tried eye wash, um, the solution you buy at the store. I tried the Chalazian patches that you get from CVS that you click them and they get, um, um, they, they get hot and they have soap in it. I tried baby soap. I tried so many things. Nothing worked for me, Miss Thing. So I went and I got surgery. Shortly after I got surgery, my Chalazian came right back. So I said, Mika, you know what? How have you always fixed things? You always research, 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 research. Get familiar with what the hell a Chalazian is. So uh, I found out, you know, it's clogged up oil gland. Now, if you know and you know about oil, you know that when oil cools, it gets solid and it solidifies, right? So just think about, and I am not a trained professional, guys. I am simply telling you what I found in my research and what I did personally to get rid of my Chalazian. I really encourage you to see uh, specialists and, you know, not to go off of what I'm saying, but do your own research and determine things for yourself, okay? Okay, I'm just telling you what I did this thing, okay? Okay, there we go, disclaimer. <laughs> so, I'm like, you know, so think about oil over years and years and years, depending how long you had your Chalazian solidifying, and then you have to liquefy that shit again so that you could get it to drain out of your eye. So for me, that was very hard to do. I ended up getting surgery. After I did surgery, it came back. So I'm like, Mita, like, what, you know, how the heck are you gonna get rid of this? Like. Why did it come back? So I'm like, just thinking, I'm like, it's probably just clogged, you know, even though he took out the oil, whatever started that oil buildup in the first place is still causing some type of blockage. So I'm like, you know, what the heck are you going to do? So I'm like, oil, I got to keep warm compresses on my eye because I cannot let this oil solidify. You know what I'm saying? Because over time, it's going to get harder and harder to get rid of it. So what I did was I have a heating up mask that I got from Amazon. So this is the mask right here that I got from Amazon. You could get any one. I don't think you need this one specifically. Um, and it comes out here like this. And I have it here. And I went and I put a towel inside so it could apply some pressure because it wasn't, um, it wasn't like on my eye. Like I felt like there wasn't enough force on it. I'm pretty sure you could get a better one. This one's a really cheap one. You could get a better warming eye mask and you plug it in and it gives you different levels, like, you know, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes, and then um, light, medium, and then intense heat. Um, I always had it on intense heat. It doesn't really get you know crazy hot or whatever. And what I did was I started putting it on any chance I got. So if I was home, I was putting this thing on my eye. And what I did was I just 
So because I only had one eye of the Chalazian, this piece came out and what I did was I folded it so that I got double the heat in just one eye. And so that's what I did. And I would put it on my eye for 30 minutes at a time. And I did this like four to five times a day, guys. Could have did it more, I would have did it more because I was trying to keep that oil liquid, liquefied. Like I did not want it to get cold and hot. And then I'm blah, what? What you say? What? What you say? I did not want that oil to get cold and, you know, just cause a big ball to get, you know, just, mm, uh, mm. you know what I mean, right? Right? Please tell me you know what I mean. <laughs> Guys, I am rusty. Okay. So I did this maybe five, six times a day. I Honestly, I lost count because I was doing it so, so freaking much. Like every two hours, every three hours, bam, putting that shit on my eye for 30 minutes. Okay. After each time. I put this on my eye for 30 minutes, okay? I took some type of um, lubricant. I use different, you can use different lubricant, whatever you use, coconut oil, whatever. It does. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Just something so that when you massage your eye, you don't cause any, um, like, a burn on your eye. Because, you know, when you rub something over and over and over and over and over and over, you're going to cause some sensitivity, you know, a burn. And then you can't rub it no more. So, I think I got, like... What did I get? I think I used Vaseline and one time and coconut oil another time. Like I was just using different stuff, but I wasn't putting a whole lot of it. I was just putting a little drop on my finger just so that my finger had some type of lubrication. So when I did massage, it was it wasn't gonna irritate my eye. So what I did, guys, was I grabbed my eyelashes, my eyelid. Let me see if I can show you guys. And I pulled my eye like this, and with the lubricant, I push down because that's where my chalazian was right here and so i push down really really aggressively guys i can't stress enough how aggressive i did it like i was just annoyed at this point like get the hell off of my eyelid like i was freaking out because i already had surgery and came back so i was like you gotta go sis like you ain't paying rent here you <laughs> no you gotta go so I was aggressively, guys, I'm not even going to front, like, not to the point where I could hurt my eyeball, you know what I'm saying? But I was doing it pretty aggressive, and I was just pushing the ball down, pushing the ball down, pushing the ball down, pushing the ball down, real aggressively after each time I put the warm compress on my eye. I know this sounds like a lot, guys, and it was a lot, and I did this for two weeks straight, and I got to tell you, when I woke up one day and it was gone... I literally cried like I cried I couldn't believe I got rid of it like I could not believe it but I was determined and I did put a lot of work into getting rid of this when I tell you guys I did this warm freaking mask like five to seven times a day I for two weeks that's exactly what I did five to seven times a day for two weeks and when I tell you that I saw no improvement in like a whole week that I was doing it and still didn't give up I didn't see any improvement for a whole week that I did it and still I did not give up. I kept doing it because I was going to get rid of this thing. And I'm like, I know that if I keep heating up this oil, eventually that has to unclog. Like it has to. Like I just, I don't know why guys, I just felt like it, it just, it had to, it had to fix. It had to fix. <laughs> it had to fix. What? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> what? What you say? <laughs> But I just kept massaging very aggressively, very aggressively. And then one day I woke up after two weeks and it was gone. It was freaking gone. It was still very, very tiny. And I just kept doing massages every night. And I did the hot mask for maybe once a night after that for like the next three days. And now um, maybe once a week, I put this hot mask on both my eyes when I go to sleep and kind of just massage my eyes just to avoid that from happening in the future. So I, I, like, I try to do it like once a week or once every other week just to kind of flush out any... Um, oil that's in there and you know just to avoid any buildup in the future um so yeah that's my story guys that's how i got rid of my chalazian i wish you guys the best of luck please guys be careful what you're putting into your eyes these are your eyes be careful you know a lot of people told me to um put apple cider vinegar um in well not a lot but some people were like put apple cider vinegar in your eye it's like in my eye i'm not gonna put that in my eye like it's apple cider vinegar why the hell would i put that in my eye no 
So I put it on top of the chalazian, um, and I also did it with the tea tree oil. I did it with coconut oil. I did it with so many things that people told me, guys, I can go down a list of shit I did to my eye that did not work for me, like, at all. Um, but this finally did, and I think it worked because I was fresh out of surgery. I don't know if this will work on people who have it long term. I don't see why it wouldn't. It's just um, built up oil and clogged, you know, it's a clogged oil gland. Um, maybe it would take you a little longer than two weeks if you have had it for a couple of years um, versus it took me, you know, two weeks after surgery. So I hope this helps somebody, guys. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for coming to my channel and um, I wish you luck on your journey with your Chalazian. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.